another day, another storm. Recently we've been getting some pretty big storms up here, almost every day. I guess that's kind of the start of summer here, but I wanted to do a quick video to chat with you guys because I need your suggestions or feedback. As you guys know, I've got the 16 by 8 inch negative 12 offset Stealth Custom BR6 wheels on the Tacoma with the General Grabber ATXs. These are 265, 75, 16s. And basically this entire setup fits perfectly. In my opinion, it fits so perfectly that it fills this entire wheel well up at the stock height without a lift. Just looks great. The only problem with running that negative 12 offset though is that when you fully turn the wheel, the inside edge rubs on the inside of the mud flap on both sides. And why that's such a problem for me is because when I leave my house, I gotta go out of the garage, turn like three times out of the out of the cul-de-sac here, and then I gotta turn like three more times out of the community, I gotta hit two roundabouts, and as I'm going on the roundabout, it's just like the perfect angle that is just rubbing the whole way around. And I don't think that's that great for it, and if I ever get off-roading, if the weather will cooperate and if I can finally find the time, then I'm worried about those mud flaps getting caught up or stuck on something. If I'm going down a rut or a bump or some sort of a rocky area, um, I've seen a lot of guys say that they can be very easily ripped off and potentially damage other parts of this fender if um, you aren't careful. So I actually went ahead and uninstalled the front mud flaps super easy to do there's just four 10 millimeter bolts that you take out and the whole thing just pops right off super easy it took literally five minutes so now i'm running no mud flaps and i think that's a good idea in my opinion because i'm not getting that rub and i'm not risking damaging them or anything else if i get off-roading but i've gotten some negative feedback on instagram and whatnot from people telling me that it's a bad idea um basically saying that it's going to be kicking up rocks at the cars behind me and also that it could kick up rocks and damage the paint kind of on the side. But if you look here, you guys, if you have a Tacoma though, you know that the paint at the bottom kind of has that orange peel look, but that's actually an underlying coat of paint that's there to protect it from rock chips, specifically for this issue, basically. Um, but also, I think this fender is so big and it kind of comes out to like just enough. I don't think I'd be kicking up that many rocks. If you look at it from this angle, the only amount that would really be sticking out is here. But the rocks are all going to be getting caught up in this part, in my opinion. But anyways, I wanted to make a quick video here to chat with you guys and ask you if you can comment below. Let me know your suggestions or your opinion on running no mud flaps on the front. I've got the mud flaps still on the rear. Um, but leave a comment. Let me know guys. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you and I will see you in the next one